Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. I actually haven't been able to record this for a little while because I had a snafu with NVIDIA's capture software. And then Devil May Cry 5 came out, so... Ooh, it feels good to be back to Dishonored. We are starting off from the Watchtower on Clavering Street that was erected after the events of the last mission. And we're gonna make a pit stop in Dr. Galvani's office. First, we have to deal with this guard. The only guard on the balcony. This is the easiest way into the office. And as a reminder, we're on the House of Pleasure mission to assassinate uh, Pendleton's brothers. Who are holed up at the Golden Cat, which is a brothel. We're going to take a, a circuitous route through all of this. And by the end of this, we're not even going to have to get our hands dirty in dealing with them. Dr. Galvani's office, by the way, is where you would have gotten the infected uh, rat guts. Speaking of rats, that hole in the wall, if we were to possess a rat, we would be able to go through the vents stupid rats. and uh, come out a different side of the office. We're going to be taking advantage of some of those shortcuts through the office, some of those possession-based shortcuts. Uh, later on in this mansion. This is actually a pretty big area, but we're not going to be exploring it exhaustively. Uh, we're in here for one really specific purpose, and it's right in this room. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean there's another vent over there, and there's another one at the end of this room. The two guards are discussing a dead body on the table. And that you are a stinking idiot. Oh, they just finished their discussion. You can see the body that's just splayed out there. They killed one of uh, Slackjaw's men. Slackjaw is the leader of the Bottle Street Gang. You might remember the Bottle Street Gang from last time. We, uh incapacitated some of the some of their men when they were going after Granny Rags. I was saying before, Dr. Galvani's office is where we would get the infected rat guts uh, to poison the distillery with from the last mission. And if we had done that, not only would our chaos ranking have gone up, uh, it would have also been referenced in this mission. Yeah, we're just waiting for this guy. I think we can blink kind of around the corner. Just deal with him really quickly before he turns around. Also notice he had a key on him. When you choke a guard out like this and then carry him, you'll just loot them automatically. Not that we're really going to need that key anyway. Let's see, what's the best route through this room to deal with this guy over here? I think he's coming from the right. And then he's going to cross the room somewhere. Uh, why don't we do this? We're gonna possess this ratty boy. And oh, orient ourselves. And the guards, if the rat's right next to them, they'll become alerted and try to stomp the rat. But just running around in the room, it won't really alert him. I think it may have been less mana. Uh, inefficient to just blink across the room, but there was a chance he would have turned around right as the blink finished. Anyway, now we can examine this corpse, one of Slackjaw's men, who we now know is named Crowley. And we got his last words. Oh, a bull rat fetus. Hmm. And that's what we were after, the, uh, the last words of Slackjaw's man. There is a few more things. Oh, the anatomy of a whale and 287 on the bottom right. It's a safe combination somewhere in here. Also, yeah, a lot of people told me I was wrong about Corvo not being able to open safes. I just wasn't mousing over the right part of the safe earlier on and making a bad assumption. Uh, we can take a rat through the vents there and come out in this clear secret room behind the bookcase. Alternatively, you can also just move the bookcase with the false book to get to that room there. Uh, a lot of people told me that 
Corvo doesn't have to know the combination to open a safe. If you just know it from outside sources outside of the game, you can input the right combination. You just have to be mousing, uh, mousing over the dials on the safe. Uh, another key that we're not really going to take advantage of. And some more notes on the rat leg. Dr. Galvani has been studying the rats and the plague extensively. And the rat plague may be mm, a misnomer. Uh, the rats are vectors of transmission for the disease, but the disease itself has, I think, little to do with the rats. Aside from them being an effective meta uh, method to spread it. The doom of has come to the same. Oh, there's a line that I was hoping we would get to. The doom of Pandicia has come to this city. Uh, that's the line that implies that the Rat Plague actually started on that continent of Pandicia and spread here to Dunwall and to the, uh, the Imperial Isles. So we're done with Galvani's mansion for now. Now we have to find a... a good way off of this balcony. There are two guards there, so we can't just run down that alley uh, which we were in before to rescue Griff. We could actually go visit him in that same location if we wanted, but there are not only Dunwall guards, there are also uh, some assassins around that part of the map. So instead, we'll backtrack this way. Uh, this is a little bit dicey. Just because of that one guy, and I don't have anything to throw to distract him. And there are no rats around. Damn, I would have really taken advantage of them. Instead, let's see, can we easily get back up here? Yes, we can. Okay, good. That will let us go right over his head. I heard you got eaten alive at cards. Another night. And I think another guard just patrolled next to him, so they're gonna be distracted. This should be fine ish. Yeah, I'll blink into the shadows and we'll be good. No alarms raised. Yeah, we got this message last time about Thaddeus Campbell. He has been branded a heretic as per our actions in the last mission. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. I love it when the world acknowledges this pass, huh? stuff. Whole town's gone to trash. And now we're gonna visit Slackjaw himself. Uh, because Slackjaw will be able to possibly, yeah. in exchange for a favor, provide yeah. us a way into the Golden Cat. A better way than just going um, through the front entrance and possibly raising a bunch of alarms. And this is a neutral zone, so we don't have to sneak around in here. They're expecting us, so nobody's going to uh, take the initiative to attack us. Unless we are the aggressors. It also means that we actually get to explore the distillery a little bit, which is an environment that I, I quite like. Especially once we get into the distillery proper. And there are a couple of uh, fairly decent things to check out before we actually go and meet up with Slackjaw. Like over like over here, uh, there's this locked door. An unbreakable locked door at that. Slackjaw be waiting for you. Uh, before we go and meet Slackjaw, we're going to find a way in there. And there happens to be one really simple, straightforward way to get the key to open that up. But first, we have to wait for this dickhead to get out of our way. I hate that he walks so slow. Uh, this is a note from Slackjaw talking about an art dealer named Bunting. <coughs> Learn a little bit more about him and uh, Slackjaw's interest in this man. But if you blink up here, uh, the distillery reserve key is just right there on a shelf above a locker. And we even get a blueprint, uh, which we can take back to uh, uh, Piero in the hub, uh, and that will unlock new things that we can buy from him. 
I think that's about all that I really came in here for. Uh, so now we'll go and take that key back to the reserve door. And there was a bone, uh, yeah, bone charm in there. It's well worth picking up. That'll be one of at least two bone charms I intend to get in this mission. Uh, the other one is actually in a tenement building, like right outside of the distillery. First, we're going to go meet uh, Slackjaw for the first time. Remember, we could have come in here in the last mission to uh, poison the distillery, and it would not have been a neutral zone. Also, it would have raised chaos a bunch because it would have poisoned a lot of people. Granted, they were Bottle Street Gang members, but still. Now, he wouldn't know that it was you. I will say that. Right. You do look like a man out for murder. Got anything to smoke away? Shut up. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cap tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand. Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Blackjaw, it's me Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first I did. That's why it's taken me so long. I wanted to be sure and... What's that? Fuck! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still... You and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the Golden Cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat brothel. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients, including an arts dealer name of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise. I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. This is what I meant when I said we were going to take a roundabout uh, path Slackjaw. to dealing with this problem. Especially his dark allies, as well as any man. There is a strong drink made here, 
had tried it once, distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. If ever in doubt, which is often, he uses the knife. He and his thugs started in Trevor's Alley. Now his influence is felt over the entire island of Bristol. Slash jaw. Horrors raised him. He'll never know his father was a prince. Slackjaw is a really interesting character. Excited to have more interactions with him. But yeah, he's going to be the one to uh, non-lethally take care of our Pendleton problem. But we have to do a couple of things for him. Starting with our trip to uh, Galvani's office. Just took care of that first thing so we didn't have to go here go to his office, then come back, and then do that all over again. Oh, you can't slide under that. And then do that all over again uh, once we get the combination to the safe for him. from uh, The combination from Bunting's safe. So that's that relationship between them I was talking about. And we're going to do one more thing real quick before we close out the episode, which is going uh, which is going to see us go and get that uh, bone charm. Just, just right up here. Don't know if we can quite climb this. Oh no, there is a ledge we can snag right here. That was kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. And then right up here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit! I forgot about the assassins here. Oh, damn it. Trying to get that parry timing right. Uh, there's a really basic parry and repose system. Feels good nonetheless. It's just very simple. And generous on the timing. Since you're not really supposed to be engaging in too much loud uh, close quarters combat. Ooh, totally forgot they were there. Ah oh, well. Might as well fill the mana back up or we're in here too. And it's right through here. Perfect. Uh, so I think next time we are going to go get that combination for Slackjaw and let Slackjaw keep his word about dealing non-lethally with the Pendletons. And that is going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.